Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we got the rest of the foundations laid in this prison for the arrival of some high risk prisoners. If we go over to deployment we can see we have max sec only and that is all now set. We have most of the patrols on the go and we have everything else pretty much working as intended although we do have to set some um, things like parole and chapel and other stuff up because I don't think the scheduler is um, working entirely correctly but we can check that in but a moment. So the first thing we need to do is see how many prisoners we are really able to move because at the moment we only have, uh, how many cells do we have? We have a total of 18 cells so that's 18 prisoners for that one. If we go over to intelligence and gangs we have 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 prisoners. So that is actually not good because it means that we are running really close to max capacity. So before we get those moved over, I think what we'll do is add this bottom row of cells into here. Then we've got all of the overflow as well as all of the grading as well. That's probably the way forward. So let's just go over to clone and we're going to clone the bit down the bottom here so we'll just clicky clicky draggy draggy and we will obviously start cloning along now we won't be able to get it all done because we don't have enough money if we really need to we can go ahead and um change it up so we have a bit of a grant actually not even grant a bit of a loan but nah, we'll see how we get on with that one i'm guessing with the four thousand daily cash flow obviously plus or minus whatever we uh work or lose from here and we should be all right. You can see the sawing up a lot of planks there. I know people have mentioned that we can go on, go ahead and sell all of these logs, which is which is a possibility. We can go ahead and do that instead of them producing license plates. Uh, they're currently producing some logs, but it doesn't really matter too much. So let's just go ahead and while the workers are doing that, I will change the scheduler. So we'll go over to edit schedule and we can see that we have now a lot more stuff on the right hand side here. So we have um, a parole hearing which is moved for some reason. So parole for protective custody, we have one, two, three, four. If we go over to the right, we can see we've got uh, med and medium. We've got med and medium, we've got infirmary med and medium. So basically we need to add the rest of them. Um, do I want want to do it right now probably not because we don't have the prisoners which means we'll be losing money so i'll probably get the prisoners before that and let's just go over to the water pipe here and we want to run a water pipe down and then straight across and i can't because i don't have nowhere near for money so let's just <laughs> not bother with that one Go up to max speed there and wait for this to be altered. So we do need to move over some of the armed guards, but I'm not going to do that just yet because it's probably going to kick off around here. There we go. There's some uh, some more improvement in the bank balance. We'll put in the large pipe here. Sorry, the small pipe. The small pipe. Uh, and it runs over to... Um, over to there. There you go. Because the rest is from here which we might as well place, because we can. Right, so, back to cloning, because we now got five grand. It's uh, quite good just to see how much you get from that early releases there. We are probably just off being able to complete this. No, we can complete it. There we go. So that is all of the ones at the bottom. Just need to double check to make sure, yep, that is still setting it as max sec. So really, this is not just going to be max sec. This is more between max sec and super max. Super max, I would, depending on the type of prison that we're doing, I would probably reserve it. In this case, super max would be legendary prisoners or prisoners that would be deadly. You could also say gangs are max sec, which I don't think that's unreasonable. I think that's probably the case. But what we're going to do really for max sec is have all of the gangs get moved into there. Um, and that wasn't opening properly. Uh, there's still a bit of a delay on that one. Not too much of a problem, but there is a delay there. Uh, yes, as I was saying, there was um, there's some argument to be made for saying that gangs are max sec, but in this case, maybe not. Maybe not. We're certainly just going to have the gangs moved over from there to there, and uh, that means we have to keep an eye on it as well because the medium can still get the gangs, but it means that the the they won't be able to be recruited because the leader is going to be up here. So. This top one is going to get probably quite aggressive quite fast. <laughs> so we'll have to see how we get on there. What I'm going to do is go to sell object. And anywhere there's a log, gets sold. 
and go ahead and do the same there. I just don't think you get as much money. But there's enough there's enough money, more than enough money. So these are all done, all connected up. Deployment is correct. Let us go for I'm gonna shift them in the night. And I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's what we're going to do. It just means that there's less people walking around, you see. Uh, we're going to have armed guards moved over. I am going to hire some more staff, mainly dog handlers. And I think that should do. I don't think we... We shouldn't need any more armed guards because of where we're going to be stationing them, so... Yeah, I think we should be all right there. So just waiting for it to tick over to sleep. And as soon as it's asleep, everybody will be heading back to their cells. And then we'll go ahead and change them over to here. I will set, before anything else, a guard patrol. Similar to what we have there. And goes along. And hang on. Is it there? No, it's not there. Is that correct? Yeah, I thought it was wrong. It's just right outside their cell, isn't it? Or is it not? Hang on. No, it was correct the first instance. In the first instance, it was fine. There we go. Not that it matters too much. There we go, there's the patrols. So what I want to do is say arm patrols. So we're going to copy whatever is here over to here. So we have an arm patrol and an arm patrol. We have arm patrols, uh, arm patrols, and the same for there and there. So that's more arm patrols then we really have um, really any care for. I'm going to remove those. And those should be filled. Probably going to keep an arm patrol around there and maybe... What I'll do is I'll put them there and there. Um, actually, I don't think I need them in there. I don't think we need them in there anymore. Get rid of those. I'll keep one around there just to gradually move them over. So there's the patrols. Dog patrols are the same, although, as always, we just don't have as many dogs as we need. I'm going to hire another one, two, three, four. And you can see they're going to head off. It's because, I've mentioned it before, dogs require rest and also so do the staff. So you get almost a 50% um, ratio with them sleeping to working or resting and working, whether it be the... Dog sleeping, uh, resting, and the uh, the guard on break. So there's that set over. What I'm going to do is also go to our programs, and we'll go down because we need to set up a guard test certification, which will begin. And now become <laughs> comes the laborious task of shifting people over. So it is gangs, and every gang member is going to be shifted. So um, the problem we have is that you can't select the gang members. Uh, that's all kinds of wrong. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can't select the gang members in that, in this view, like that. You see, can't be done, which is really annoying. Anyway, so we know it is. We know that that top row's done. So we know that it's this fella. All right, and then give <laughs> them all snoring. <laughs> Uh, and then it's those two. Oh yeah, that's Ashby. And then Ernest T. Nuts Bass. There we go. And then from here, we'll go along. We'll check gang members. It's fairly easy to see, you know, with the first tattoos. So I make it that them ones there. Oh, hang on. Have I totally skipped this? That's alright. So those three. And we should see that these are now in different colours. So there, there and there. That is correct. Yep, that's correct. We need to do both on the left here. There we go. And then these ones down the bottom. And I'm sure there'll be some losses. I'm sure I'll, I'll have moved them and changed them like wrong like that. 
but I'll double check them before. This is all, it hasn't even been unpaused yet. So, yes and yes. Uh, no, because I couldn't see them at the time. They're fine. So I believe all of them are done. Apart from this person here. And there we go. And now, what will happen is you'll see all of these gang members are now being shackled up and they are going to head over. Well, I say head over, they're going to be escorted over. And also, you can see now it says, prisoners arriving, one minimum security and 20 normal. <laughs> We're not going to have, at this point in time, this... Uh, this prison open. We're not going to have it open. So we're not going to have the arrival of high-risk prisoners yet. What I'm leaving... What I'm going to do is leave it so... We'll find out whatever the max is. In this case, it's 31. Today, we'll get all of the gangs over. Whatever intake we get from the next arrival, we'll make... See, any gang members, we'll again shift them over. And then we'll have to sort of manually move them like that. Um, there's no way of reassessing them. I think I mentioned this a couple of times before where at the moment prisoners come in and they they'll be searched and such and there is there is one thing you can do it's not really an assessment but what you can do is you can say that if they have any items on them you can if you want to increase their um increase their um their sex so if it says destruction you can say up down supermax whatever um what what there isn't is a way of when you come in and search them, you do like a little profile thing and you talk to them and, you know, get what they're like. And if it says, right, if they're like, say, a legendary gang member and they've been put in as normal, um, which we have had, you know, that's uh, Ashby, uh, it should be, you should say, right, if it's a legendary prisoner, immediately just send them off to high risk. There isn't that in the game. Hopefully there will be at some point, and you never know, there might be. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Right, so in terms of all the gangs, you can see they are now moved over. We now have... Everybody shifted over. That's excellent. That's good. We do have the um, kitchen uh, getting uh, food delivered there. That's fine. We have pretty much everything else on the go. We've got armed patrols. We've got... Oh, I actually don't have an armed patrol, I don't think, in in there. I didn't put one in here, so I will go ahead and order that now. There we go. And that should be fine. What I'm going to do then is start spending more money so we're going to go over to programs and i want a foundation education program start general education start i want pharmacological treatment of drug addiction start alcoholics start uh, parole hearing one two three four and spiritual guidance and then unpause it and lose loads of money so edit schedule let's check to see what this has done so we have in no particular order the Classroom Minsec, General Education. Classroom Maxsec, Foundation. Uh, so, Min, Medium, and Max. That's now set. Let's just, let's just lock these. So, we have General on the morning, and then Foundation in the evening. The chances of the... Max sec doing foundation education is quite low, so we might remove that, but for the time being, we're going to assume that maybe one or two might do it. We'll see. We'll check later on. Chapel, min, medium, and max. Spiritual guidance, fine. Infirmary, min, medium, and max. Pharmacological treatment, that's fine. And... Ah, yes, there's the error. So... Oh, we haven't got to parole as well. I'll check parole in a moment. Um, common room, med, min, and max. That alcoholics group has to go there. No teachers exist. Do we have to hire another... Oh, I haven't hired another psychologist. My mistake. I will do that at some other point because I don't have... The psychologist but at least the scheduler is correct that would have probably done it actually if we had the right people there uh, so we've also got now parole protective custody for parole max sec for and then parole medium and min so actually the scheduler's not done a too bad a job seven out of ten wouldn't press the reschedule button again so that is fine 
danger level is going to be fluctuating because of the way that prisoners are moving around and things like that. Um, we're going to get a lot of tasers bought. Yes, that's fine. But we're also going to get a lot of money when it comes to this next intake. 21 normal security, 1 minimum security, and boom! There we go. Money. Cash money. So... We can easily go to staff and to our psychologist and then hire those and there we are. Let's just double check before anything else that that is all set up correctly. It looks like it is set up correctly. We can then edit the schedule. So we just check over here and we can see that um, it is now correctly set after we've clicked on it and unclicked on it and sorted. Right. Excellent. So... In terms of gangs, we do have a blue gang member straight away. You can see one is coming in. In terms of informants, we do have a couple of unknown traits. Nothing, or extremely tough gang member, extremely tough. Nothing that I'm worried about, like, say, snitch or ex-law enforcement. However, that gang member, Batty, that is... Gareth Batty, prisoner number 13726732. You are now maximum security, so they will be immediately escorted to where the gang members are. So you can see that we have a bit of a bit of visitation here. That's fine. And immediately we have what a surprise. Application of shotgun. Because this is a gang area. Speaking of gangs. It's still fighting. There's Ashby with his hands up. And we're going to evict the prisoners from here. So this will now become a, hopefully, a gang-free area. That was always the intention. It was always the intention. Let's see if that actually works. <laughs> it will require quite extensive and indeed exhaustive manual labor really trying to manually check every time someone turns up from the medium set you don't get them in low risk i've never seen that not to my recollection but in the normal risk or the medium risk of the you do get gang members so we have to manually move them over to here but you know we'll see um the question is do i do we set it so that the high risk we have intake or do we just use that as the gang cell, the gang block? So everyone in here, the only people in here are gang members. Do we do just that? I am at the moment on the fence about it. I have a feeling, though, that it would be best later on to not fill the prison up. But at the moment we have 18 maximum security but 31 capability. So it might be best... If we did take some there. So if we say total prisoners. Ah, no. Nah. See, we can't set total prisoners for min, medium and max. This is where the game is breaking down because of the way we're doing it. Because we are essentially running three prisons on one map. Which is the whole point in this thing, to do something that we haven't done before. But it's a... Uh, it's got the little edges there where we can't really do everything we want. It's not a deal breaker by any means, though. Um, See, so fill capacity. That'll get eight. But then we'll get some more. We can handle eight. Let's take eight in, and then we'll see see what happens tomorrow. So two normal, eight maximum. And you can see the money we're getting there as well. So we'll go over to Concrete Tiles and we'll lay some Concrete Tiles in because we know we're going to need these. Oops, cancel that bit. Uh, we're going to lay these Concrete Tiles along like so. The rest of the flooring and everything else is totally fine. Um, ah, look at that. See the gangs are planning? They're all, they've all got planning. So they're probably going to be taking over the common room or the yard, most likely. Um, speaking of planning, I want to get rid of some of the planning bits around here because we don't need it. Um, we do have doors in there. We have doors in there, that's fine. Um, and there we go, right. That's locked open, that's locked open. I'm just double checking to see if everything's sorted, which I think it is. So, there you go, that common room is going to get taken over. We should be evicting 
this. It's very close to being removed. There you go. And then this is a gang-free block. So, in terms of gang distribution, we have 12 red, 3 green, 3 blue. I'm really, really um, anxious about receiving any green or blue gang leader because that was that would make things quite quite <laughs> bloody quite frankly um i think that is the most accurate statement for that anyway so it's currently free time we're going to do a full shakedown we haven't done one in a couple of days here so we'll do a full shakedown see what we've got there um I don't anticipate tunnels from around here, but you never know. In terms of dog patrols, I do have one around this area, but not around here. And that's not a big problem, but I think we'll probably have to start thinking about a perimeter wall at some point. So there's some shop commission, there's some exports. Good cash flow indeed. That's pretty good. So I'm just waiting for all the prisoners to get back in the cells. And then we're going to really annoy them by doing a shakedown. Uh, you notice there, there's some letters. I've actually got some letters delivered. Mail opened. Yeah. So having this as access only, but free to anybody, seems to function fine. So, nice. Good. Happy. So we're going to get four normal security and eight maximum. That eight maximum is only eight because we've never received any high-risk prisoners. And... Once you receive more... Oh. Uh, I'll finish what I was saying. Once you once you receive more, the, it opens up to get more. So you can't start the game with low-risk prisoners and then fully build death row area and then just get 10 death row people. It just doesn't work like that. So, Mark Holt, prison number 11503726, died of an overdose of shotgun, uh, destruction attack... Attack staff and found drugs. Volatile, stalker, fearless, and gang member. That is not a good trait. Set of traits when it comes to fighting someone armed. Fearless. They don't give up. Not intimidated by the sight of armed guards. Less likely to surrender during a fight. Volatile. Liable to kick off without warning. So we've searched his... We've searched his cell. And he's gone ballistic. And then we've used ballistics. So... Yeah, there you go. Uh, bureaucracy, is there anything we need? Well, we haven't got legal defence. It would be useful to get that at some point. We haven't got small cells, but we don't need a death row. We haven't got... People have been mentioning about tax relief. Take advantage of the government tax incentives and reduce your effective corporation tax to 15%. Um, it could be something we could go for. I thought I always thought that was to do with the workshop, though. But I might start researching that. I think it would be... Probably quite useful. You can see there's been no big issues, no no tunnels or anything like that I've found. I'm going to continue searching the rest of this. There's a little bit to search, but we'll just continue on with that. What have we found so far? Two batons, two clubs, two shanks, a knife, two forks, a spoon, three needles, medicine, four bottles of booze, four bottles of poison, five packs of cigs, cell phone, lighter, screwdriver, drugs, shears, hammer, drill, and 14 ropes. Ropes seem to be the big thing at the moment. Um, with the latest, uh, you know, passion being able to go over walls and such. So here's our intake, and you see we've got 10 grand. That's a lot of money. And you might be thinking, well, why is it Why is it that much? Um, oh, look, already refending rates gone down by 1% since we've moved the, uh, <laughs> the uh, gang members over. You might be thinking, why is it so much? Well, that's because the... Um, the max sec or the high risk prisoners you get a lot of money for. I can't remember the exact amount. Is it 500 each? No, it might be more. It might be a grand each. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll go to intelligence, informants. So, some gang members, both of them, however, are already on high risk. So we've got a blue high risk and a green high risk. In terms of traits, we have some traits. Quick instigator, tough stalker, stalker, unknown traits elsewhere. Headland. Mark Headland. Fairly strong name, Headland, isn't it? Who else have we got? 
Dan Hornick, Tim Nowell, Sam Curtis, Christopher Donny. We've got an Armand, Scott Armand. We've seen a couple of Armands before. Is that Russell? Simon Russell. Yeah. So, there we go. I thought that was uh, some. Oh, look, we've got a teacher called uh, Preparing. <laughs> like we got a prisoner called Preparing, then I realised it. Ah, oh, that's actually a teacher. Right, so, this search is almost finished. It's probably never going to be finished. It's one of those, like, infinite searches. It's like the Escher stairs of searches. It just keeps going on and on and on and on and on because you find more stuff and it just keeps going. But, uh, yeah, let's just finish that shakedown. We just don't have time for that. Nobody's got time for that. So, we've got. 25 maximum security and 31 protective, so that's perfect. I'm going to close off our max sec intake. So that's exactly what we wanted, and there's been more fighting down here. And why has there been more fighting down here? Volatile and seriously injured. Seriously injured, not a trait? Well, it could be, it's just a temporary trait. Uh, volatile and deadly. Is there a reason why they've just started fighting? I have no idea. What I do have an idea on, though, is... Um Really, we need to do some searches. So, we'll have a couple of people from here. Different areas of the prison. Um, there we go. And there we go. So, there's our... There's our... Um, our... Talking. There's our... Chat. Coverage is 0%, but that's because we nobody's yet... Singing like a canary, so they'll get there eventually. So, oh, there we go, look. We found out that this person is a snitch and quick. And that person is ex-law enforcement. So coverage is 39% at the moment, so that's good. We know about this one. What, they're holding a book? Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to read that elsewhere. Protective custody. And who else was it? It is this fellow, James Young. Just got to double check. They are a... Ex-law enforcement, yes. So again, protective custody. So it's good that we found that out. Coverage is still 39%. Hopefully that will go up, because this is only Kerry... Uh, my bags, who's talking. And there we go. So now we've got 100% coverage. So we should know everything about this prison in terms of traits. Um, in fact, it might even be 100% for just... Uh, well, it might just be everything in general. So things like... Uh, what contraband has been found and stuff like that. So the deadly prisoner has drugs on them. Two sets, well, one on them and one stashed. So I'm guessing drug addict. We've got lighter, we've got expert fighter, we've got a lot of targeting. But nothing else that I should really be worried about. There's Ashley over there. Ashby, rather. There we are. So. Prisoner transplant completed. We have all gang members... Moved over from here to here. They now control, unsurprisingly, Red Gang member controls the yard and the common room. But none are in here. And because of that, I'm hoping that because we are... Because we are now concentrating all of the gang members in the North Prison... And we don't have any armed guards around here. Well, actually, sorry, we still do. But because of the reduction armed guards, and I'm going to remove the last one there. Don't think the chief liked that. Um, I'm hoping that because of these two factors, this prison, uh, the members rather in this prison, are more conducive to uh, study and um, reform. Which means that reform should go up. Reoffending rate will hopefully go down. Hopefully health will go up as well because there's not as many fights in there. This one, however, is still going to be affecting all of that. But we'll see what happens. And next episode, we'll figure out what the Chief wants. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.